Good evening and welcome to Wilderspool, the lair of the Wellington Wolves for the final of the Rugby.com Women's Rugby League World Series between Great Britain and Ireland and New Zealand. The Kiwi Ferns arrive here with a 100% record, having posted two wins over New Zealand and one over Great Britain. Justifying their pre-tournament rating as favourites. But that will mean nothing tonight when the whistle blows because the Lionesses have grown in confidence as the tournament has progressed. I will strongly fancy their chances tonight to toss the ferns onto the compost heap of unrequited favourites. So a great match in prospect tonight. As all the games in this competition have been, with every single player performing to the highest standards of skill and technique, with no one leaving anything in the dressing room. Coming off the interchange bench for the Lionesses will be Bailey, Handley, Roper and Walsh. The key wheel ferns are at fullback Howard on the wings, Johnson and O'Carroll. In the centres, Driscoll and Teamo. The halves are Mario and Hina. The front row, Presland, Wrigley and Avika. The back three, White, Conlon and Davy. And coming off the bench for the ferns will be Nia, Witahara, Te Kau and Why No Why? Why No Who? And today's match official is Mr. Graham Shaw. So, Steve. Good setting, it's a nice night, it's, well, it's not a nice night, but it, at least it's dry, and we can uh, look forward to a real battle. For my money, it's going to be a question. They do. Oh, come on. Come on, referee Shaw. Yeah, I think he's having a bit of a, a bit of a mare towards the arm, the GP girls. That's a great ball. She goes well, she's round. Samara put it in touch. Great defence. Yeah, great try when it came. Opportunist try. And uh, disappointing from the Lioness's point of view that it had to come from a quite as fairly simple, straightforward play. Under the pressure of the tackle, though, it was uh, Hina. Brilliant when it came, but that will settle the firm's nerves because they came into the game strong favourites and they've been made to struggle so far. They certainly have, but, but take a bow. Louise Avika, she's just going to the sideline now. What a big hit that was. Oh, that's a poor miss. It's a poor miss from it. From Heaney to Shocker. Get a little bit and give a good delivery. But you said earlier on, when New Zealand got that scrum, this is Ina, turns Teamo inside. Good defence on the inside from Dorbeck, Stevens and Milburn. This is White allowing that ball forward. Not messing about. This is the winger. It's, uh, Johnson. Yeah. O'Carroll takes it in, set, set for the spread now, the Kiwi's on the right, it goes to Hina, Hina turns Conlon in, Conlon makes good yards, Great Britain shipping water now, being pressed right back to the red line, oh good stuff to Hina again, Hina goes straight, too strong! Just too strong, a great ball from Cam. I think she might be struggling a bit. She's got a little bit of a limp on her. That could be a good sign for um, for GB. It's a great kick. It's over. Good kick there from Maria or Mario. Don't know, quite know how to pronounce that one. But we need to get a score, Mick. Otherwise, this game could run away from us. It's a great advert for the game of rugby league. You've got all the skills on show out there, and um, I wish I'd watch more of these games, really. It's a shame I've had to work so hard, mate, because I've missed him. Oh, uh, yeah. Is he a violin playing in background? Here goes Conlon. Conlon going to the line. Great Britain now struggling to bring him down on first contact. And we have a, a row of Aussies with Ambergis blocking his view. Azina throws one out to Tiamo. Tiamo gets over the line. Beautiful pass again. Good alignment, good running. This time Hina brought the line running. The spread was on. And Great Britain just looking to be struggling to get to the ball carrier. Great football again. 
Conlon taking it over on the right hand side and fouling it up and then they spread onto the left. Yeah, it was sensational. But again, mate, we've got a fantastic advert so far for the game of rugby league and we've got a great crowd here tonight at Wilderspool. They must be um they must be touching a thousand and um I'm sure every one of them will go away from here and thoroughly enjoying this match, Mick. Hyena's added the conversion. It's making it 16-0 and we really need... And New Zealand coming off the blocks. And no space at all for... Uh, for Great Britain as O'Carroll brings the ball back. This is... Tikahu. Now Conlon, Conlon with that high step. Looks as though, yeah, yeah. And Davy comes forward. Dina having a rest on the sideline, watching this play as it goes on. Again, a good spread, a good setup. That's good work from Mario. Offloads. Finds White. White. Finds Garno, this is all oh, good defence. Oh, absolute outstanding defence from Great Britain. Scrambling, just taking the last man out. Tiamo throws it through, that's going to be four points. Oh, good skills from Tiamo. So, but uh, if you go out, you've got to take your pressure off your players at half time. They've done their best, the 22 points down. Go out and enjoy. Stand out player so far this evening. She's um, really putting her heart and soul into it. She's already had a couple of um, man of the match performances. And um, we now need to take the ball forward. Here we go, put it through hands, here we go. That's good play. Here's Banks, oh! Great tackle there though in the end by the number two. Was it um, Johnson? Yes it was. So got it. Here comes the number 24 for GB. Runs across the face of play for Bruce, but... Oh, there's a little bit of hands. What's the touch judge doing? Is that flag down for an ornament? Mickey should have been on then. Dobek steps, hits and spins, gets a good offload. McIntosh, dummy, straightens up. Oh, she gets it away. Put down by Aina. Six to go, here goes Land. Oh, they've kept the ball alive well there, but we've not seen too many yards. Get a quick play the ball. Six to go. Just go forward. She lands on the front there, the GB player. We need to play the ball. Good play there, though, by the number one. Howard slowed it down well. Here's McIntosh to the line. Brought down, though, by the big um, number eight, Bresland. GB, use the short side. Good angle there by Walsh, by Gemma Walsh. We need to really to be using this left side, Mick. Gilmore and Banks. Look how deep Gilmore is. She's dying to get the ball in her hands. Dobek needs to put the spread on, using one of your phrases there, Mick. But no land for the line. And oh, she's over! Oh! The cheeky little, cheeky little scoop from Axena. She's in the second set of six that kept the momentum going. And at the end of the move, or disappointing uh, conversion attempt at the end of the move, then Chile land, as she says, step back before going forward and somehow managed to get her way over and uh, lift lift the lioness's heart. Just when you're flat, and here New Zealand with the Viki. Oh, looks dangerous, and this could be telling for Great Britain. Teamo goes from acting now, plants the ball 15 metres in front of the post, attacks on either side. Davy comes running, does well. Tony Cliff stands in front of him, gives no ground. Ball goes to Hina. Ina spreads to President. President are going to go under the posts. The differences between the two teams. It's the front rowers, the, the back rowers, the whole forwards are playing like backs. I mean, they've got great running skills, handling skills. And um, in that in that woman, Hina, they've got somebody at the centre at all that can direct all the time. 